Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll talk about sign up and for that I'll be using JSON web token for generating a secret token. And at the end of this video, once I'll implement that, I'll explain you that why do we need JSON web token to be returned to client, whoever will be accessing this sign up API. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is install the JSON web token. So npm install JSON web token in my terminal and uh, it will be installed and after that I need to import it so const JSON web token it is from JSON web token right and after that this is where we are creating this new user and this is the request or body being sent from the client side right and uh, inside it once this new user is created we need to create a JSON web token to be returned to the client and this is where we are returning the data to the client whoever is accessing our API so here I need to use the JSON web token and um, the function it provides is the sign the sign function actually provide us a different options through which we can generate JSON web token and it should be complex so that we can authorize our user to access multiple information that exists on our platform okay so you can see that the first option it gives us a payload and it can be of type string object and buffer so I will choose object from these so I will write ID new user dot ID but new user does not have an ID it is underscore ID okay and the second param has to be a uh, let me add what happened so there has to be an ID yeah and the second param has to be a secret key so secret or private key so this is very important and I would like you to actually generate this secret key in environment file because this code that we write can be decrypted and the hackers can actually decrypt your secret key as well so I'll go to the config.env file and inside it I will write jwt.secret okay and after that we need to generate it and it, it does not have to be like the random letters and digits it can be a long sentence as well uh, with the with the underscore or just a sentence like this is my secret key in the JWT so you can add that but make sure uh, it is not shared by anybody once you add it so I'm going to save this file and here I can access that by process dot env dot jwt secret okay and then at last I need to have an options and this gives us an option to actually once the JSON web token generated we want it to be expired so if user wants to sign up uh, and uh, wants to log in after how long we want this token to be expired so it gives us expired in and we can actually give it a 30 days expiration date so after 30 days this token will be expired so they will have to log in again so now in order to return it to the client we can add over here so first of all let's try to get it from this it gives us this data and then we can actually JWT token okay so I'll save it I will start my server so once it gets started I let me explain you the reason we are actually returning this JSON web token to the client is that because the users needs to be able to uh, the clients actually needs to be able to get this JSON web token along with the data so they can store this JSON web token and use this JSON web token to access other APIs that we have created because we want our notes data or any other data that exists in our project it can be like the dozens of models that we might be needing in our application or in your application all of those data should be protected by some kind of key some kind of secret key so this JSON web token is added and returned to the client so they can resend that token to us in this server on the backend to actually 
access the other data and that require the implementation on the front end development as well as the back end development so we are starting the first step from here to re by returning this json token uh, to the client so db connection is successful in the terminal now i'm going to my this postman and i will be sending out this data let me uh, change the email in case if this email already exists in the database so i'm going to send it in order to generate this so uh, secret or private key must have a value uh, did i add the value here so process jwt secret is added and uh, let's see process dot env and we have this so it is a value it is dot actually we need to add an underscore because i've added underscore over here okay now let's go to postman and let me change the email because it might have saved it so let's send and it will return us the user data that I have sent along with the JSON token. It is waiting. So now you can see that it is returning the JSON token. Now this is our client, the postman. And assuming that we are building our front end in other like JavaScript or React Angular, then we'll be using and storing this JSON web token in either the local storage or in a cookie. Uh, then we will be fetching this JSON token to access all other APIs of the backend that we are building. Okay, so in this video, we just talked about setting up our sign up controller route. And in the next video, we will talk further about the login mechanism, how we can use the JW token that we have generated here. And that is a bit more tricky than the sign up actually. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.